thickening of the fracture line. So not too much, but I mean, and we could see that on the x-rays, but at least on the CT, they give us a specific amount. Fracture occurs at the junction of the base of the diaphysis, which just means that distal portion, or excuse me, the proximal portion of the bone, which is usually where there's more issues with blood flow. Okay. Fracture of the callus is seen. So that's how we know it's acute on chronic. Like you had callus formation and then that callus is also fractured. So that's how we know like, hey, you broke this at some point, mm -hmm. it was healing and then you okay. broke it again. There is possibly an intact callus along the medial fraction margin, which means that the medial portion of it, so it's your fifth metatarsal, yeah. so lateral being outside, medial being more inner, so this portion of the bone has an intact <clears throat> healing process, Okay. which makes sense. Usually if we're going to break this, it's because we did it out here, and then that's the side right. that gets fractured again, Okay. but the inside is looking from the CT scan like it's, it's still intact. Okay. It also looks like you broke the fourth one at some point. <laughs> so, <Did I>? oh. <laughs> so it says that there's an osseous avulsion of the lateral margin of the fourth metatarsal, which just means that the fourth instead of the fifth, mm -hmm. when we say avulsion, a piece just got ripped off. So it's not a crack through the bone, okay. it's where a soft tissue piece was attached. And oh. just because of trauma, it got ripped off. It's just floating around on my foot? It'll stay there. It's not ever going to do anything. Okay. Not even to worry about. <laughs> Nothing but to worry about. Fun facts for you for the All future. Right. Um, ossification at the tibio -taylor deltoid ligament, which is sequela of a previous injury. So deltoid is over here. Mm -hmm. You just have calcification of a soft tissue area, which should still be soft tissue, but yours is starting yeah. to calcify from previous trauma. Uh, gotcha. So. <laughs> Um, no subluxation. Your Lis Frank joint is intact. So that's the midfoot, which people usually, if people have a Lis Frank, it's like a hyper dorsiflexion and in inversion injury. Um, and it's just the ligaments that hold the midfoot together. Okay. Yours is perfect. Oh, well, that's good news. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Arthritis of the first metatarsal phalangeal joint, which is right here. Um, there's a lot wrong with that foot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, all stuff, probably older stuff, minus the acute on chronic fracture. So, questions about that? Do I need a pin? It does not look like Oh, it. that's good news. All so right. So, if you were, that is, so that's the 50 50. And I was actually talking with Dr. Kayla, my supervising, he was looking at your CT, and he's like, uh, depending on his livelihood, yes, like you would put a pin in that. But it also, if you put a pin in it, that's going to keep you out right, right. for a while. Um, so what I would probably suggest, this is for the bone stimulator. Uh, no, that's just the insurance from, from the oh, organization. Oh, I just saw the Zonix. Okay, oh. never mind. Okay, I just saw the Zonix clipboard and I was like, oh, good. Um, I would really consider doing the bone stimulator at this point. Okay. Because I don't, I think with where you are with things, a pin is not going to be a huge difference maker for you okay. and it, as far as the healing process, excuse me, but it's going to keep you out from right, the right. fights. Um, versus you may get a tremendous amount of callus formation and new bone growth and continue to be able to do stuff with the bone stimulator. Okay. How do I go about getting the bone stimulator? I get it for you. Yeah, we need to try to find one that's not super. Because now your insurance for the yes. MA is taking over. Yeah. Beautiful. I don't know. I've got the hiccups and stuff now. Um, so let's do bone stem. And then those are fantastic. You put it right over the area of the fracture. Right. And that's like a vibration, like ultrasound that helps like stimulate blood flow, which long also stimulates bone production. Okay. So it kind of just like expedites the healing process at this point for fractures that can sometimes take a, a okay. decent amount of time to heal. Um, and that's the biggest thing at this point. Um, have you still been participating in fights? No, not since I hurt myself. Okay. I, I haven't, I've been lifting weights. Uh, Staying healthy, yeah. but like, okay. So truthfully, if it's doable, I would continue avoiding impact trauma mm -hmm. um, for like four weeks. Okay, I could do that. Okay. Yeah, and just then, get buff. Yeah, I'll get, get swamp yes. <laughs> jump weight classes. Uh. So we'll do four weeks um, with the bone stem and then avoidance. Um, and do I use the bone stem 
that hours a day or minutes a day or um it's usually like an hour a day okay. um every single one is different depending on the brand um so i'm gonna have to figure that out or because we're gonna try to make sure that it's not anything that's too costly to you um but that's what dr Kaylin was saying is when he used to have them they used to have to be on your foot for 23 hours so i was like good lord Dead that's man. not conducive to and now it's not that way it's anywhere uh, between 30 to just vibrates minutes. way more now your foot's just going to town <laughs> just twitching <laughs> while you're driving your car no um so i'll look into that because we have different like companies which is why i was asking about that oh, yeah. um that <coughs> supply those um and then i would say um have you follow up here in four weeks okay. and then repeat x-rays All right. and then we'll get, be able to see like did we get a lot no, more like callus formation does it look good are we fine to go back to normal stuff? okay that sounds great okay questions for me right now um uh, no the big one was the, the if i need a pin or not okay. because i was not looking forward to that no i think that you're at, i mean if you wanted to so that's what i'm saying it's very 50 50. um if you were like i want this to be the sturdiest thing that there is i don't care to be out for six to eight weeks yeah. plus then yes we a surgeon would put a pin in it for sure um but I think if it's not bothering you too too much and we can get great healing with the the bone stimulator right. that will be okay a more conservative way to go yeah that, that sounds wonderful and okay. then uh, the next time i break it i'll get a pin in it yeah yeah hopefully <laughs> we don't have a next time you know? hopefully there's <laughs> not if you I, do break it again you will have to have a pin in it every <laughs> time i go to a doctor i always hope they just call me a baby say hey, being no. a baby guy yeah and i knew when you first came in and you were talking about that and i was like yikes yeah. this is not him being a baby at all <laughs> all right i'll be back in this is okay? all right thank you you're welcome